What grows society requires a male and female, and the quality of the children that are born is reflected from the quality of parents that give birth to them. In order to have a prosperous Nigeria tomorrow, proper attention must be paid to the girl child. We don't know what tomorrow holds, but we know those who hold tomorrow, and those who hold tomorrow are the youth. Interestingly, the Nigerian girl child has not had that opportunity. She's been held down by primordial sentimental beliefs, either religious, cultural, or societal, that has impeded her capacity to access basic education, has impeded her capacity to improve on productivity, largely due to marriage or child labor or conscription for domestic use and so on and so forth. What grows a society requires a male and a female. And the quality of children that are born is reflected from the quality of the parents that give birth to them. If we genuinely require to have a prosperous Nigeria tomorrow, if we genuinely require to have a mother of Nigeria tomorrow that we'll all be proud of, that would be like any other mother globally, then we must give attention to the girl child. A visibly excited Jennifer Ephraim, while expressing gratitude to everyone who contributed to the project, noted that the book was written from personal experience, which he intends to share with the public in order to create more awareness on the need to pay proper attention to the well-being of the girl child. Has been, it's not something that just came up all of a sudden. This is something I've been trying to do for like since I was little. This is something I've been trying, trying to work on, something I've been trying to do. It's based on experience, it's based on people's story and all. So that's why I came up with the book. That shout out to everyone that have gone my back. My mother, oh my god, oh my god. Shout out to my mom, shout out to my family, shout out to my friends. My friends have gone my back. Shout out to everybody that have showed me love in one way or the other. And again, to people looking up to me, I. I, my advice for them is that they should keep doing what they know is right. They shouldn't stop. At, at some point, they will feel like um, like people will let go, or they will feel like they can't, they can't do it alone. But they should keep being motivated. They should push. Like they will do it. Like today is a dream come true. Like I'm turning 23 and a 20. <laughs> While congratulating the author of the newly launched book, the wife of the chief of Garki, who represented the Minister of State's FCT, noted that the education of the girl child must be prioritized because so much of the development of a nation rests on it. Sky will be your beginning, not even your limit, by the special grace of God. And uh, this is a very serious initiative, girls' child in particular. And it has been my passion. I started my own over 15 to 20 years. I always admire to see girls who are coming up to have the passion of the girls' child. So, and God will reward you. Thank you so much. Other dignitaries who attended the event congratulated Ephraim for the achievement. I keep on telling people, without my mother being my mother, I will not be standing here in front of you. Because our parents, the male parents, they are so busy in trying to make sure we eat and survive and send us to good schools. But our parents, our female parents, are always there with us at home to make sure we have a good life to make sure they coach us through every single stage in our lives. So without them being our parents, being the mothers they are, we are not going to have a very good event like this. We are not going to have a very good nation, as His Excellency said. When you educate a girl child, you are educating the nation. This book launching is a really impact-making book. Yeah, especially to the gay child 
and especially to where I come from, where most of the girls, they think they just go and marry and make babies or be a housewife. So because nowadays, like in those days, what our forefathers they do, if they have a female child, they would rather say no, they won't train the female child to school, rather they will train the male child to school. But today now, as you can see, Jennifer is a good example of what the mother uh, worked for her to be. The mother will be always be happy that, okay, I have a, a girl that is representing not even a boy, but in all angle, she is there. So. The high point of the event was the unveiling of the book by the former governor of Kwara State, the cutting of the cake, the dance and musical performances. The former uh, Kwara State governor and all the invited uh, guests here this uh, evening, thank you all for coming around. This is a very special day. Um, honestly, when this idea came up, sometimes about three months ago, when Jennifer came to us, uh, she had this great idea to write a book on the dynamo of the Nigerian girl child. We were so excited, and together with my brother and the old crew of Asomot Media, we decided that we're going to package this uh, great event today. And so far, it's been a great journey. She has done a whole lot. And on this special day, I wish you happy birthday. And not only that, I wish you a long life and to do more to the service of the nation by empowering the